Hi, my name is Katie Wontok, Associate Professor and Agriculture Educator for University of Wisconsin Division of Extension in Dunn County. This is one in a series of short videos to introduce you to the Farm Succession Planning Workbook entitled Cultivating Your Farm's Future. We encourage you to go to the first video in this series to see the introduction. The introductory video may guide you to which worksheet you want to further investigate. The Cultivating Your Farm's Future Workbook has three sections. Today, we will be discussing the monthly and annual spending plan worksheets that are located in the first section of the workbook, Where Are You Now?, and found on pages 14 and 15. You are watching video two of two. As we look at who's paying for those family expenses, we need to consider income sources. On page 15 of the workbook, you should complete the section on household net income. Is there off-farm income that you are or will be receiving? Are there social security or investment payments that you are or will be receiving as additional income streams? Are you receiving or going to require a draw from the farm that would be on a monthly or annual basis? Would that payment be irregular or would it be regular, for example, as a land rental payment? In the past few years, those rental payments may not have been paid due to reduced farm profits. As a recipient of that payment, would you be able to allow the farm to defer that land rental payment to another year until the farm would be more profitable? Depending on your family living needs, that may or may not be an option for you. Finally, on page 15 of the workbook, you should compare the total monthly and annual family expenses and debt payments with family monthly and annual income. These two worksheets will provide you with estimated family expenses that will not be paid by the farm and income that may or may not support these expenses. Your next step would be to determine if your income and expenses will be increased or decreased during your transition and how this may impact the farm in the future. When estimating family living needs, the information provided here on this slide by the Center for Farm Financial Management at the University of Minnesota was created from their FinBin database and represents all enterprises, including crop, dairy, and livestock farms. There are several states represented in this data set, including Wisconsin and Minnesota farms, collected in 2016 through 2019. When reviewing these four years of farm, family, household, and personal expenses, you may be surprised by the total cash and non-farm expense amounts. Total cash family living expense encompasses food and meals, health, life and disability insurance, household supplies, and recreation expenses. The average cash family living cost for the past four years was $61,880. Other non-farm expenditures averaged $27,584 the past four years and include income taxes, furnishings, savings or investments, and other non-farm big ticket items. While these expenses have remained relatively comparable over these past few years, individuals do need to keep in mind the total cash and non-farm expense of $89,735 when realistically calculating their own household and personal expenses. If you feel it is helpful to have someone outside of the farm or family facilitate or coordinate farm succession discussions, we have five extension educators trained and certified as farm succession coordinators. Their names are listed here on this slide. You do not have to live in their county, but you may want to choose one that is geographically close to you. Thank you for watching this presentation on monthly and annual spending plan worksheets. Please visit the Extension Farm Management Program website for more information and resources on farm succession planning at farms.extension.wisc.edu.